Alright guys, um, I'm going to show you guys how to switch your LCD screen and uh, I guess we'll get started. First off, before you do anything, take out the battery all of your PSP. And as you can see, if you look real closely, there are four screws in here. There's one right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there. And if you guys have ever seen anyone else take apart their PSP, it's also in those areas. And there's also two more in these areas right here as well. And so just unscrew those off. We do that right now. Then we'll, I'll fast forward it for you. Alright guys, here you go. This is the face plate of the PSP. So just put that aside. And here, this this LCD screen ain't broken, but I'm going to show you how to take it off and put it back on. So if you ever, this is for those who ever broke their LCD screen and don't want to buy a new PSP, PSP but they want to buy a new screen for it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to um, pretty much take this off and put it back on. Okay. First off you got to remove this right here. This is the, the start and the control, pretty much the control buttons where you press for home, start, select, and up, up and down volumes. So first I would first remove it from here. Just take it, take the flat tip and just wedge this off right here. This should come off. And before you do that, wedge that out should pop out really easily. Just like lift it up and then just it should come out really easily. Put that aside. And now to remove the L C D screen. On one side of the PSP, wedge it out on one side. And just get in there and try wedging it out. And hold one finger there when you wedge this side out both for the other and try wedging that out. And from there it should come out pretty easily. Now before you do anything else make sure this doesn't pull off right here. There are two areas that it's connected to. Right here, let's see if I could pull this up so you guys can see. There's these right here. As I showed you what I did right here is almost the same as you could do right here in these two areas. Right here to remove this off, there's this spot right here. You should be able to lift it up. See, there you go. Lift up really easily. This part I hate because it sometimes is a, a pain to remove. And so you gotta like, see if I could do this with two hands holding it. Try removing it. There you go. See? Came right off. There you go. LCD screen came off. And I'll just put it I'll just put it back the way you're supposed to, so you all know. But that's how you remove it first and then to put it back on. It's just pretty much going backwards. So and let's just put it back together. I would suggest putting guy right here on first. So let's wedge him in. And then if you can reach, if you can reach, just press that one down. It's a lot easier when you do it flat on a on like a pad like a pad or something. I'm just doing this like this so you all can see. And just try putting wedging that one in there. And then you gotta snap it in. Snap that shut on top of it. There you go. Got it both in. Now, uh, pretty much going backwards again. Have one side again, and then press the other in. Should go in very, very easily. It's going to be a little dirty, but it's all right. And um, okay. Now, just put the face plate back on. You put it, oh no no no! Wait, forgot something. Yeah, 
don't want to put the face plate on without this. And what's that in there? Snap it in. Snap that in. Now the face plate goes on. When you stick it on, make sure you get it in there, wedge it in there pretty easily. Make sure it's snapped all around. And then all you do is, again, I'll fast forward this. Just put the screws back. Alright guys, there you go. Done. That's how you do it. How you take off and put a new LCD screen. And then, there you go.